Okay, and I've disconnected the uh, rodent coil. I've changed the polarity around now so that I have the anode on the stainless steel and the cathode is now the titanium welding rod. Uh, so we're running a 450 volt, 25 microfarad AC capacitor, then going to a rectifier and coming out with about 120 volts. I'm going to turn on the voltage and let's see what happens. <laughs> some water since I can't uh, lower that cathode down in any further raise the water level up on the cathode a little bit and try again see if we can get some plasma formation <laughs> away at the cathode We're down to one about 150 yeah and dropping and as the cathode gets consumed the watch go down the power that's being utilized is less because of the destruction of the cathode okay. so we got down to about 130 watts my cathode is just touching the water. Um, I mean, it is just touching the water. It's it's got burned off to where the bubble bubbles were. Um, the anode is fine, of course, but the cathode is being consumed at that voltage. So there you are. That's what we got right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try the rodent coil back on the, I'll try the rodent coil again and see what reaction we get from it. Okay, I swapped polarity on the rodent coil. Now I've got the rodent coil hooked up to the positive on the anode. The cathode is hooked straight up to the negative. Here we go. <laughs> Check 
watts real quick. We're down to 73 watts. One and a half amps, 70 watts. I'm gonna drop a magnet into the Roan coil and see what effect we get from that. I can get these apart. Okay, the magnet's in. I'm going to turn on power. in the water so voltage is definitely significant with the contact glow discharge to be able to form plasma so this uh, 110 120 volts even 130 volts really doesn't give you any kind of uh, uh, plasma discharge you're just getting an arc discharge uh, electrolysis so what I probably ended up doing is plating my stainless steel with a little bit of titanium. So, yep, there you are. All right, I want to go ahead and show what it looks like with 300 uh, with the 116L stainless. Uh, it's three eighths solid rod, uh, pulling about 2,000 watts. were over 2,000 so now we're pulling way too many watts like that uh, for any kind of real production this is going to be with a stainless steel uh, bolt I think it's it's smaller than quarter 20 I don't know exactly the size of this. I'm not going to look right now it's probably 1032 or something like that uh, I'm going to check the amp draw on this turn it on <laughs> sure what size is probably a number six screw uh, stainless steel bolt this is not a uh, round head like this one was I'm not sure what happened to the uh, Phillips head insert there but uh, it definitely cleans them things up all right so starting with that 